Hello there, guys. And as you may have noticed, the sound is different because I just noticed after recording three tutorials that in those three tutorials, I actually used my webcam microphone instead of my usual microphone, which is my headset microphone. Okay, so if any one of you actually had some uh, problems with that or, you know, all of a sudden things got very loud, I my apologies okay i didn't realize that i uh forgot to plug in my headphones uh when i started recording these tutorials okay but again let's get back to to the thing at hand which is modifying an environment variables so today we're going to talk about modifying environment variables so if you ever want to modify environment variables and you may sometimes or some tutorial you find on the internet advises you to modify your environment variables, it is useful to know what is going on. And when modifying environment variables, you are, in most cases, adding something to already existing environment variables. So let's actually use an example. So if I type in printenv and I want to just use certain, uh, I just want to see, for example, if, in my environment, there exists a variable called variable, and I press enter, I don't get anything. Why don't I get anything? Well, that's because a variable named variable doesn't yet exist in my environment. However, if I type in variable variable equals value, and then I type in export variable, variable, and press enter, and then I repeat the command, which is print environment grab variable, I actually get variable equals value, okay? And so the reason why I get that is because I, uh, is because I actually uh, added the variable which is named variable to my environment, okay? So this command right here, variable equals, equals value, that command introduces a new variable named variable with the value value, okay? And export variable places variable variable in the environment. And the changes you just made to your environment are non-permanent. So basically you added this variable to your environment, but that's a non-permanent change. We are going to talk about permanent changes later on in this course. Okay, so if you close your terminal session, the changes you made will disappear. Okay, so again, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope not to forget to plug my headphones in when I'm recording this. And I'm, I'm sorry if I caused you some uh, undue shock on your ears because, you know, I believe it's gotten pretty loud because of the background noise was, was, was uh, larger. But yeah, sorry for that, and I will see you in the next tutorials. Talk soon.